Okay, this is section 1.6, which is the International System of Units, or SI units. Um, the International System of Units is basically what it says. It's a system of units used by most of the world. Um, there are only a handful of countries that do not use the NSI units, United States being the only developed nature, nation that does not use those. Um, so it's a set of, when I was growing up, we called them metric unit or base units that we can then derive other units from. So um, other units that are commonly used are things like angstroms, which is a unit of measurement. You see this one in physics. Uh, minutes and hours are also deri uh, are also units that are not part of the SI system. So the SI system, um, you have length, which is meters, mass is kilogram, time is second, temperature is Kelvin, and the amount of substance is mole. And these are the abbreviations or symbols for these. We're not really going to get into electric current or luminosity. You will notice that volume is not one of these, okay? Because volume does not is a derived unit, not a base unit, okay? So I have here, these two tables are essentially the same. You see that one says table 1.3, one says table 1.2. They are essentially the same table. The difference is that this is from an older textbook, but I like to show it because it shows all of the prefixes. These are the prefixes that you have to know, and this is the one that's currently in the textbook. And these are the same, the ones that are highlighted in yellow here, you see mega to mega, kilo to kilo, deci to deci, are the same ones that are over here. They just have removed the other ones. But I think it's important, like you'll see giga and tera, um, those terms are terms that you hear in computer technology, a gigabyte, terabyte, that type of thing, okay? And so these are the, pre so these are the prefixes that go to those base units from the previous one, okay? And the way that you do this table is that one kilo, okay, and I use the base unit meter, it doesn't really matter, one kilometer is one times 10 to the third. So here's the multiplier right here. So just one times 10 to the third meters, okay? One m, little m, is milli, okay? So one milligram is equal to one times 10 to the minus three. So this right here is my base unit. And change the colors here. This one is my prefix. Okay. Again, this is my pre prefix. And this is my base unit that is here. Okay. Um, same thing here. One micro. When I look up here, so this uh, kind of weird looking U is a micro sign. Okay. Um, and so the multiplier is 1 times 10 to the 6. So 1 microliter is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 liters. So the multiplier goes in front of the base unit. And 1 megabyte, okay, uh, going into, this is the computer technology, is 1 times 10 to the 6 bytes. Okay. So this is a problem of the book. It says, write the following measurement without scientific notation. So basically what I want to do is I want to take, I want to remove this from that, okay? So what prefix was times 10 to the minus six? So I still write the 4.851, and 10 to the minus six is micrograms, okay? I should have said back here on the slide, I do expect you to know these, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I do expect you to know these. We will use them both in this semester and in 12.12 also. All right, next one. Well, I already have the answers here, sorry. It's the 4.51. So when I write this, I basically is a U with the leg on the front and the back is the way I write it, okay? So again, what prefix is the minus two, okay? And that's deci, so, I'm sorry, centa, sorry. Deci is minus one. 3.16 centa, and then the base unit meters, okay? All right, minus nine here. So that's what I'm looking. So what prefix has the minus nine there? And the answer is nano. So it's 2.591 nanoseconds. All right, and time is 10 to the minus 12th. Minus 12th is the pico. So it's symbolized by the P, all right? All right, now, it wants to go the back way, 
Okay, so I want to take it from kilometers to just meters. Kilo is what multiplier? Times ten to the times ten to the third. So it so I take the six point two zero and I times the ten to the third, and then take out the k just back to meters. Okay, so the the k here means the three there. Nano to seconds. Okay, nano is what multiplier? It's times ten to the minus ninth. So the n is replaced by the minus ninth in the scientific notation. Centa to meters. Okay, centa is what multiplier? Minus 2. So this becomes 2.54 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. And the last one is micro. Okay, micro is the minus 6. So this becomes 5.23 times 10 to the minus 6 grams.